Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I'm gonna be unboxing my fake crate box. I think this is for May, I could be wrong. But let's go ahead and clean out. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing in here is a little tote bag. I oh my god. I'm about to drop this box. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it seemed to be like a tote bag. Um if you can see. Um I don't, I don't like it. Um, it says, what a strange girl you are to behold a rose and, I don't know what that says. <laughs> Only if thorns never to bloom. The woman kingdom. And then the back is just plain, which is kind of lame. Um, also don't like this material that it's made of. Um, so. Yeah, okay. Let's move on. Um, we have a little thingy here. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, let's see. Um, well. So, honestly, couldn't tell you, but it says there's nothing I cannot master. Um, let me go ahead and find the forward card because I have no idea what this is. So this seems to be... So this is a All the Stars and Teeth um, bag hook. So it says keep your bag on hand anywhere you go with a bag hook inspired by All the Stars and Teeth. Um, I guess it's a bag hook? I don't know what it... I... Girl, I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, let's just move on to the next thing. So we have like a cup sleeve, um, which is like full leather, and it says, If I seem to wonder, if I seem to stray, remember that true stories seldom take the straightest way. Um, I like this. This is cute, but I don't know if I'll actually use this, to be honest. But this is inspired by the name of the wind, so... Yeah, I think that's pretty cute. Um, the next item we have is a Stanny that Fake Ray likes to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this out. And this seems to be inspired by me, uh, what is it called? Uh, Gideon the Knife, um, acrylic stand. So I actually really like this um, design. So it's just like a, st it's just a Stanny, which I don't know, but I it won't go on. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cute. I love the character art on here. I love the design. Um, I don't own this series yet, but Illuminate is doing a special edition of this series. Um, and I hope to pre-order it, and then it will look nice with this on the bookshelf with next to those books. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Um, I think it's pretty nice, actually. Um, and then we have our monthly Polaroid that they like to do every single month and this is inspired by a song below water which i actually just pick up um the book like two weeks ago um i saw it at a half price book and i bought it so i'm really excited to read this um and this is a nice art print and then we actually have a art print um uh, here which is inspired by um, Sophie and the Bone Song, which is this month's book box. Um, so that's nice. I really like this, um, art print. Um, yeah, it's really, really pretty. So I actually do love this. Um, and then let's go ahead and move on to the actual books and stuff. So, like I said, this book, this month's book is Sophie and the Bone Song, um, by... Arjun Tuli. Um, this is such a beautiful cover. Um, Fake Ray just does exclusive covers. Honestly, that's basically all they do, and I really love this compared to the original cover. And then we have a signed book plate as well to put inside the book, which I really love because I like having signed copies of things. So that's really nice. Um, there's nothing special about the hardback at all. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read this. I'm pretty sure this is also queer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe it's not, actually. 
I think I just made it up, so don't listen to me. But yeah, I really love this. And then we have the author's letter behind this art print, which is the cover without the text. Um, so pause if you want to read the author's letter. Um, yeah, I really love this. Um, I think this box was just fine. Um, I really enjoyed the art prints that they do every single month because they do a nice art design. Um, and I love the Stanley that they included. And of course, I love the book. Um, the cover is amazing. I just didn't care for the little, what's it called? Um, the back hook. I don't know how to use that. I know I, I don't care about that. Or nor do I care about the tote bag that we received. And then the cup sleeve. Um, I don't feel like I'll be using that, to be honest. So... Yeah, but that's everything that was in this month's um, box. Let me know your opinions on the item that we received this month. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Bye guys.